Hello, I'm Kyle at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Red Fox Squirrel Nymph. Dave Whitlock developed this fly back in the late 1960s and considers it one of his best nymph patterns. It's a big bodied nymph and Dave uses a blend of red fox fur and synthetic sparkle material for the dubbing, giving it a unique reddish brown appearance. This fly is typically tied in sizes 10 through 18. Here's the fly in the vise. The hook we're going to use today is a TMC 5262. It's their two extra heavy, two extra long nymph and streamer hook. This is a size 12. And we'll start with some lead, add a little weight to this fly. Take about a dozen turns or so into the center of the hook shank. And our thread today is going to be Danville's Flymaster 6 aught in orange. And we'll start by forming a thread dam in front of and behind this lead wire. Keep it from moving around. Jump our thread. Build a dam in the back. And cover this up a bit, lash it in there. First material we're going to tie in is going to be some fox squirrel tail from a red fox squirrel. And we'll cut a small clump off from near the base. And we're looking for the Nice long guard hairs here. I want this tail to be just a little bit shorter than the shank of the hook. I'm going to tie this in right on top above the hook gouge. That looks right. Cut off excess. This fly also has a rib. We're going to use some uni French oval tinsel and small. down, keep it on the near side of the hook. And the body for this uh, fly is um, some red fox squirrel abdomen colored and uh, Dave Whitlock made this up. So it's really convenient for us to use, but you can make up your own if you've got some light colored materials. So we'll dub this on and we'll run this about two thirds of the way up the hook shank. Uh, looks right. Now the rib, make open spiral turns, up to the tie end point, like so. For the thorax of the fly, he again has a red fox squirrel color uh, that he calls thorax. It's a darker brown. So we'll make us a dubbing noodle. Okay. 
Next, we're going to make the collar for the fly, and that is going to be from a well-used Hungarian partridge skin. I'm going to pick one of the darker colored feathers from the back. So we'll prepare that by pulling away all of the fuzzy material. We're going to tie it in by the tip. So we'll pull the fibers back and about a mil and a half or so give us something to tie in. We're only going to make about a turn and a half with this. And we want these legs, I chose this size, we want the legs to go back to about the bend of the hook. These feathers are really delicate, so you can't horse them very hard or they'll break. Take our hackle pliers, preen the feathers back. And we're probably going to get about a turn and a half, maybe two at the most out of this. That's all we want. Just managed to catch that, I think. This has a pretty prominent orange head, so we're going to run our thread back up over some of that hackle, and that'll help lay it down. And once that head's built up the way you like it, get our whip finish tool out, make a four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot, cut our thread. Got one stray fiber right there. There we go. Now some head cement. And our fly is complete. Feel free to leave comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all the current content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time.